Well, my name is Femi Fadiba. I study material science, my MNG degree at Oxford University. I just finished that last year. And now I'm at the University of Pennsylvania on a Turon Award studying for a Master's in Public Administration. I'm also um, helping to run with a friend a company called One Degree Solar. We supply sort of low-income folks throughout the developing world, people who live on a few dollars a day, um, don't have access to electricity. Um, we provide and sell low-cost solar lighting and electrical appliances. If you're a kid in Liberia, then if you want to do your homework, then you're probably going to have to use a candlelight to do that. Um, but our, our products mean that they can actually um, have access to at least some time in the evening when they can you know, really do their work well. We've got branded products in over, over a dozen countries now, actually. So we have a lot of things going in, in East Africa, Kenya, uh, Tanzania, Uganda. For me, you know, I've lived in Africa for a good chunk of my life, and a lot of my friends and family are still in Africa. So I have that strong connection. If you guys ask for something that's actually incredibly close to my heart, um, we started it in 2008. It was me and um, three incredibly talented friends of mine, Nana Kwame, Jen Weying, and Dele Garber. And um, the theme around it was that we just recognize that there's a huge amount of potential and opportunity in Africa. And that's something I think, you know, it's an old story now. I, you know, everyone knows about that. Looking at the youth particularly and making sure that this group of people within the African diaspora um, are, are informed about the issues, are engaged on the issues, and probably most importantly, understand the social element. And so it's all about informing people, keeping them active, and, and um, making sure that dialogue about progress in Africa continues. One of the things that I'm really looking to do is push forward what we're doing at One Degree Solar. So I think we have an opportunity here to do something really, really great. Um, the market for what we're talking about in terms of people who are off-grid in Africa is huge. I mean, a place like Liberia that I gave the example of before, only 0.04% of people have access to, to, to grid electricity. Um, so we have an opportunity to really build a business, but much, much more importantly, um, to give new opportunities to people who wouldn't have them otherwise. I genuinely believe that if the product, if most, if most families and households in Africa were able to get all of our products, would completely revolutionize the continent. But what drives me is, I think in many ways, an appreciation of just how lucky I am. Even my parents, they went through some really tough stuff, things of which I'll never, hopefully, have to go through my stuff. I was born in Togo, and um, there was a si essentially a civil um, war that broke out, which meant that we had to leave because our lives were threatened. Um, and since then, you know, things gone considerably better. And you know, but I, I saw my parents work from a really tough situation um, to a, a very positive one. So I have that example, which was incredibly helpful. You know, sometimes I'll be doing some one degree sort of stuff, and I'll be on the phone with manufacturers in China at 3 a.m., you know, because the time difference. And you do ask yourself, you know, why am I doing that? And it's definitely um, helpful to just remind you yourself of, of, of the very good reasons why, why you should be doing that.